Hello, welcome to a special edition where I just play a bonus video this week. Firstly, all we want is an awesome set and uh, spoilers just dropped. Some spoilers for the next set, it's just as awesome. And there's a lot of things going on. This looks sweet, sweet, sweet. So today we are going to talk about a janky deck that would be featured in MTG Jank, but instead we're gonna play it in a just a bonus video. I thought the deck was fun, super sweet. Technically recording the section after I did the actual uh, gameplay. So uh, I think the deck is going to be awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, like, comment, subscribe. Do all those things for me. That way you can be alerted for all of these Frixty videos. And I think this deck is awesome. So let's break it down and get into the deck deck. So this deck is a um, safe house combo. So the goal of Mer uh, Marion's safe house is we tried to get a Lotus Field and a Boro Boro in the graveyard in combination of a, a cheap spell. So a couple sculptors helps. The, one sculptor gives you infinite cast triggers to work with your infinite combo reservoir. So you get with Karn. And the other possibility is if you have Anvil, it technically is, you know, positive three mana. And I think that's actually pretty amazing. Actually, this deck is slightly different. This is actually the adjusted version after the actual video, but I actually have four Anvil's main board in the actual video. Anvil allows you to basically cast the safe house for one uh, colorless mana, which you produce three because of Lotus Field, and then you pay one to bring it back. So you pay two to net one. So that allows you to go infinite mana, which you could walking ballista is another possible infinite infinite target. I thought that was pretty awesome. The deck has four hedron crabs because we do want to mill our deck uh, to find potential hits with Emery, and that is essentially the deck list. And uh, like I said, we have we have a Karn board, which is pretty amazing, um, fun. This deck is awesome. So I so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the actual gameplay, and I'll be back with the wrap up. Eh, let's just play untapped stirrings grab safe house in any order pass the turd mountain uh so we play a bora bora play sculptor you they bolt my sculptor that's not polite that is super awesome uh okay try another sculptor you mono red tron interesting eats my sculptor we can't seem to have a good one think i sculptor even though it looks like I'm doing the same thing on repeat. Lotus Field. And I sack Lotus Field. Breeding Pool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oops. <laughs> I should have sacked the Abora Boro. Let me guess. You're going to remove my Sculptor again. Map. Cracks the map. Leave my Sculptor alone. Plays a mine. Passes. Okay, that actually works. So, play Safe House. Play Abora Boro. Keep the new one. Blue. Pay. Play. Okay, we could do this, but I think for now I just, mm, wait, 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 wait. Play Mystic Forge, pay a life. So a free drum, one, two. How much does this cost? A blue, draw a couple cards. So we pay one, pick this up, play it. Um, we, we need this anvil, so we'll pass. We'll attack, ship the turn. Golos gets the last Tron land. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like where my opponent's at. I forgot I'm playing crab. Uh, eat that crab. Karn. Play the land. Play Karn. Down to Karn. What are we grabbing here? I need any artifact to eat. So I don't care what I grab. I think I just grab Pithing Needle. So this needs to come down. Eat the Pithing Needle. Tap. Pick up. Safe House. Play a free Safe House. Tap for blue. Pick up. Safe House. Play it. <laughs> Tap it. Pick it up. Yes, this is what I wanted. <laughs> All right, guys, this is this is the bee's knees. Like, this is the reason to play modern, if there is a legit reason. All right, so we win the game, right? I think I'm just going to go ahead and show my opponent the win. So we'll play Karn. Keep Karn. Down tick Karn. Yes. We will show our opponent we are grabbing Walking Ballista. I guess I also could have got Reservoir. Yes. <laughs> Ship the dude. <laughs> Flooded Strand. Target ourself. We milled a safe house and a Karn. Crack it. Breeding pool. Untapped. You know what? Let's spread the love a little bit. Stirrings. Take Anvil. Any order. And ship the turn. 
oh my god, Lion Sash. Like it's like he knew. He knew what deck we were playing. All right, we may, we will mill him. Try to make his quote unquote Stoneforge Mystics worse. So we play Anvil and Exile Thought Monitor. Ship the turn. Our deck is weird. I got to admit, I like it though. Pass the turn. Appetizer is eating our Anvil. That's a that's a sad day. Misty, play the Misty. Mill you, mill you. Oh God, it's it's the freaking cat. Oh, I hate that cat. I absolutely hate it. Pass the turn. Uh, we're gonna make him pay for eating the anvil. Skyclave appetizers eats a crab. I mean, it's about time you ate a crab. I mean, ghost quarter, lotus field, mill. I think I just eat those two. He tax out. Why is he not spending mana into the cat? Take it. Sarah Paragon. We're actually helping him. Plays a tap cave. Passes. Bridge. Mill you. Uh, we definitely need to block this turn. We need to block, I guess, the sash. No. Three. Actually, we're just dead. Run it back. All right. So we uh, Bora Bora play crab. Yep. The turn. I could have, I guess, played the drum. And then the crab next turn. Tap. Crab. Get produce a mana. Play drum. A Bora Bora. Keep the new one. Mill herself. Sculptor. Drum. Emery. Pass the turn. <laughs> uh, that was a decent turn, too. Thalia. That basically negates my thing. All right, so we target Sep Sculptor. How much does he cost? A single blue. All right, play a second one. How much does this cost? Draw a couple cards. Safe house. This costs two. Pass the turn. I think we can go for it next turn. Or at least we can go infinite with cast triggers next turn. All right. Hits us. Yeah. Down to 18. Lorna the third path. Pops the sculptor. Replay the sculptor. Play safe house. Uh, blue. Crab. Pass the turn. I want to wait till I have something else. Attacks out. Take the beats. Arbor. Pops the Abora, which is fine. Play the Lotus Field. Target myself. Target myself. And we sack the Lotus Field. Tap. Get a Forge. Play Forge. Eat the land off the top. So I should be able... Stirrings. Take Anvil. Any order. Pass the turn. Oh my god, we have a Thought Monitor on top. We have a Thought Monitor on top. That's great. Goes to combat. Attacks, attacks. Sure, take it, take it. I don't care. Can you answer anything on my board? You need to get rid of this safe house. Giver of runes. That's fine. Another one. Okay, so what I think I do now is I tap crab. Play thought monitor. Draw a couple cards. Misty. Mill ourself. Mill you. Crack the Misty. Oh my god, we don't have an, we don't have a, a land to get. Eat the top card. So if I pick it up, pretty sure this is just infinite cast triggers. I do need to find another path here. Tap the crab. Thought monitor. Draw a couple cards. We have a sculptor. That helps. That helps. Sculptor. Play the sculptor. Which I think means we have infinite mana now. Return. Cast it for one. Tap. Return it. Cast. Tap. Return. Thought monitor. Draw some cards. Eat. Karn. Minus. Yes. Grab. Where is it? Reservoir. Pick it up. Play it. Got it! Yes! <laughs> this deck it might be one of the sweetest decks I've ever played. Think I bring in Stonebrain. Go down to Emery. Or I don't like that. Giver. Another Sculptor. That's not bad. I do actively need another land, though. If I can get that, that would be pretty awesome. No cat, please. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That doesn't work. And this costs two. Pass the turn. I think I pitch Forge. I need a land. I need any land. But once I get these sculptors down, this hand just starts going to town on the opponent. Misty. Crack the Misty. Grab Breeding Pool. Untapped. Sculptor. Go. Attacks. Sure. Take it. Down to 13. No Lauren, please. No Lauren. Field of Ruin. That's fine. No Lauren. Okay, Sarah. Sarah Paragon. That's fine. Sculptor. Emery. Mill. Ship the turn. We got a Lotus Field in the yard, which is half what we were looking for. So 
blast zone for the opponent. Goes to combat. Smash face, smash face. Sure. So we take five. You may cast that card. I'm pretty sure that does not work with miss with the uh, he passed my emery. All right. Means we get a land, which is just as good. Misty. Play the Misty. Crack the Misty. Breeding pool. Tapped. I would do this. I so it discounts three and adds one. Stirrings. Take a Bora Boro. We're almost dead though. So we probably we might not be winning this one. Field of Ruin. Sure. Strip mines us. Seems good. Goes to combat. Tax for five. Do we play a Bora Boro this turn? Then what? Field of Ruin. All right. Strip mines us again. Attacks. We're at two. We got to find something good here. Mystic Forge. Um, this probably cost three. Yeah. So that costs three. That would take up our entire turn. This is uncastable. Uh, Jengatha is not really a possibility either. Yeah, I just don't think we're going to get this one. There's nothing we can do. Eh. Well, 0-1 with the deck. Let's get into the next. Windswept Teeth. Sure. Cracks it. Overgrown Tomb. Untap. Noble Hierarch. This is probably Infect. Breeding Pool. Stirrings. Aboraboro. Any order. Pass the turn. This might be a quick 0-2. Even though we got a sweet win, technically, in the bonus footage. But this deck is fun. There's definitely something that could be done here. Urza Saga. That makes me think it's less Infect. Crab. Misty. Mill myself. Watch me mill my uh, other breeding pool. <laughs> Emery Drum Forge. That's fine. So we will take a breeding pool. Untapped. Mill myself. Play Drum. Stirrings. Take Karn. Any order. Pass the turn. Oh, we already have a Karn. We have like every single thing but the our namesake card. Oh, this is Devoted Druid. This might be raw. Because they could literally combo off. So if they play a land, they should be able to play the new Planeswalker and untap the... Hmm, he had to play the other card first. Noble Hierarch. Tangle. Uh, mill you because you think you actively care about finding certain cards. So even though I don't want to do this, but Karn minus grab our namesake card. Safe house. Pass the turn. You do need to find an anvil though to make this thing infinite mana. We have the Lotus Field to sack the Bora Boro in the Lotus Field, so that works. All right, gets the Lexar, which goes infinite with the Devoted Druid. Um, so that's pretty good. So I think he basically he wins, assuming he has, you know, a payoff in his hand. Oh, wait, 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 Karn. Karn prevents it. Good job, Karn. You did your job. So he plays that, goes to combat, smashes the Karn. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely needed. Yeah, Karn's down. Second main fate, he gets second main face he gets to go off. So he gets to pay three, equip, and go infinite. And I don't think we have anything for this matchup. Like, we can't do much. We're gonna wait and see if he has a, an actual payoff. Because he only has three cards in hand. So there's a good chance that he might whiff. Is this a walking ballista? Finale of devastation. Or zero. Gets a walking ballista. I think he just punted. Passes. Okay. We have another shot at this. Mill you. So we don't care about Karn now because it's already equipped. So if I play Safe House, that's my basically my turn. I, I don't think I can cast this, right? Takes two. All right, I guess I just Safe House and pray. Yeah, I can't do nothing. Pass the turn. Let's see if he pulls a win out here. Legit payoff this turn. Extraction Specialist. To get back Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, seems good. And then he gets to get the Longbow which should close this game out. I guess I should have thought about that. I should have thought about him getting the longbow here. And yeah, GG's. This thing is, yeah, three to equip, and then he's going to start shooting me infinite times. Yeah, seems good. Dome brain seems fine. Pithy needle seems fine. I think that's essentially my outs here. I can go down a thought cast in an emery. Or I don't like that. Actually, I want to go back up the thought cast down an anvil. I don't like that. That way I get tutored with Karn. Land, Crab, Go. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to play Drum next turn, Tap Crab, play Stirrings, and go from there. Because that will determine if I could play this Ambience, uh, the Semblance Anvil with this Tap Land, or this Bridge. So I get a land here. A Bora Bora, that's a land. So play the land. Mill ourselves. We milled a safe house. Emery? Nope, I can't. Pass the turn. Cracks his March Flats. Stoneforge Mystic. Seems reasonable. Do you get or, uh, the longbow or do you get Luxar's? Yeah, Luxar. Sure. Assuming he gets... Okay, he plays that. 
Passes. Flooded strand. Target ourselves. Crack the flooded strand. Grab a breeding pool. Untapped. We'll just mill you this time. So I need to catch up. Play anvil. It says non land, huh? Yeah, that was a mistake. All right. I was hoping. Mm, non land. That sucks. <laughs> we can get back safe house this turn. Plays Urza Saga. Do you have a druid and a Tyvar? You should win if you do. All right. So that gives it haste. Okay. Oh, wait, that's only if it's 10 or more. It gives it haste. Okay, so next turn he's going for it, which stinks. We get a bridge. All right, so we tap that. Get the safe house. Play the safe house. All right, so he taps for a single blue, which I guess doesn't help. I just lose though, right? Yeah, here he goes, equips. Sure. Assuming he has something to go infinite with. Finale devastation. X20. Seems good. All right, so 0 and 2 with the deck. Let's get into the next forest passes. We draw our island. That's awkward. Play the crab. Skip the turn. Passes his turn. Flooded strand. Target you. I don't want to mill all my breeding pools. Crack it. So he's playing amulet. I'm pretty sure of it. Mill ourselves. Watch this. Okay. So we play sculptor. Skip the turn. Plays a turf. Bounces the forest. Should have tapped the forest, but okay. A boro boro. Scoops it up. All right. Against amulet. Bring in the might, I think. And from down us. No, not stirrings. Trim down a forge. Run out like that. For it. I'm assuming grazer. Yep. Seems great. Much better start than last time. Boris Garrison bounces the forest. Pass the stirrings. We play Misty. Crack Misty. Grab a breeding pool. Untapped. Drum. Ship the turn. Plays a great. I mean, plays a forest. Dryad. Or Zeus. Dryad. Sure. Plays a Valica. Passes. Misty. Crack Misty. Grab. They can't get too low against Amulet because they one shot you. So I think I might. They cost three stirrings anvil the bottom past the turn we can instant speed tap this sack it that is a possibility we do need to find a artifact here to uh get this anvil down with and urza saga cavern might be able to get a titan now goes to combat hits us for two take it question is do i eat this urza saga it means i lose artifacts for this thought cast i don't think so okay so what i do here anvil eat the forge and pray i get another turn does the combat smax us for two take it down to 12 questions can we win this turn so this cost two ouch so tap tap emery this costs one pass the turn i guess yeah i don't have a choice i just need to dodge one more turn he does get an amulet this turn which is pretty good for him. Makes a construct. That's a good sign. Probably means he doesn't have a Titan. Watch him have a bounce land, bounce land, Titan. Oh, that, that's bad. That's the case. That's bad. So that untaps. All right. Just bounces that. Plays the forest. He still technically can cast a Titan. He has Dryad to basically go infinite. Basically the kill by Valakut trigger. We need to do something fast. He attacks for five, I assume. All right. Take it. Lotus field. Don't cast. I guess I have to manually draw safe house. That's not helpful. During. Ouch. That's a Bora Bora. We take a Bora Bora. Play the Bora Bora. Anvil. Eat Anvil. I think I'm going to lose, though. This is just a turn too late. Two of these should do it, though. I'm going to have to chomp. Why do that on my instep? I don't get that. Because now he has to pay the pack. That was a punt and a half. I mean, he should have done it on his turn. He just literally had to play it and get two Valakuts, and boom, Valakut win. So any land, right, should trigger Valakut with three damage, and then he just deals five so yeah you should have this one even with that punt man we were so close like literally we next turn we just play karn and go from there I and mean, we're gonna pretend like there's not a way that we lo don't lose but oh my god you let us go so we go ahead and play safe house no there's no way. There's no way. Uh, so we Lotus Field. Tap that. We we literally just won the game. I don't understand how this could have happened. Pick up Safe House. Play Safe House. Tap. Pick up Safe House. Karn. Down tech. And we just grab Reservoir. Cast it for free. I think, I mean, like literally he punted this game away. All he needed was any land. So now we're going to start gaining life every cycle. So we get to 50. And then we just shoot our opponent down. Tap. Pick up. Play it. Game 
gain life resolves. I'm gonna start tapping for green, I think, in case he, I ever have the desire to sack this might safe house. Sweet. There's no way we should have won this game, though. He should have summoner's pact on his turn. He conceded. All right, technically two and zero oh with the deck. Two and two with the deck. Let's get into the wrap up. So what did we learn this week about this deck? And overall, we went one and two in actual full matches. And after one game, the opponent scooped the entire match, which was hopefully you guys enjoyed all these those clips. Sometimes we just did nothing. And I mean, that is what happens with combo decks. Sometimes you just draw the wrong half of your deck and you just lose. So <laughs> it happens. But the deck was, I hope, fun it showcases a different way of playing safe house strategically and like we moved to anvil to the board it's my suggestion but just just because of the fact that anvil can be hit, gotten with karn and it's nice to have something that doesn't get surgically extracted and so that really does help the deck i think other than that we have 21 lands the lands felt okay a lot of the times lotus field does feel clunky um just because of the fact that Having it in hand means we were basically wiping out our board of lands and it could cost us the game, but we strategically did try to use the Lotus Field when it was the appropriate time to combo off. Um, Stone Brain came quite relevant and the might helped against Amulet. Uh, so there's a lot in this in the sideboard to help with multiple different matchups let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this list and until next time hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day